This time we're visiting the popular Kitty Cafe in Birmingham. Here you can eat and drink, surrounded by a clouder of furry feline friends. There are just under 30 cats here at the moment and all are rescued, rehabilitated and eventually rehomed. Holly is the manager and she's after some tech to keep her moggies amused. And I'm up first with the perfect gadget for Holly's rescue cats. They're gonna love it. It's called the Cozy. This is a smart bed for uh, small to medium sized animals. So I think ideal for cats. Cats spend 70% of their lives sleeping. So comfort is key. It has a bunch of sensors in it that allow it to uh, read a room and help you all by itself create a particular environment for, for your cat. I think it's really good that you can keep your cat cozy as they do like to be like near warmth. As you'd expect, it's all controlled via an app on your smart device. With auto, you set your temperature and it will tell you what the current temperature of the cosy is. It will show your target temperature and how long it will take to get up to temperature there. The best bit, I think, though, is smart. So those sensors I told you about that allow the cosy to detect when and where there are cats around, allow it to build up a profile of what time of day the cat likes to sleep, what time of day the cat likes to roam around and stuff. So you can actually leave the cosy to do its own thing. As well as being smart, there's also a manual option within the app, which allows you to control the temperature of the cosy on a sliding scale. And you don't even have to be in the room. So I can do that at home? You can do that at home, on, on your days off, Ooh. if you so please. I think it's really good that you can control the temperature from your phone, wherever you are in the world. That's quite, quite cool. But cats will be cats and they will sleep where they want to sleep, whether it be on a human, on a chair, on the floor. They do what they want when they want. So how much is this? Right, so you're going to have to love your cat or cats. It's 135 quid. Now, I don't know what the, a, a good price to spend on a cat is, but if I had a cat, I would buy this. <coughs> You know what they say, Otis? You snooze, you lose. My bit of tech is sure to keep these kitties entertained for real. In the evening, when you're not here, it may be interesting to see what they get up to. Um, so this would be a really good solution to check in on them. It's the Pet Cube Bite 2. This is the world's most advanced interactive pet camera. It allows you to talk to your kitties whilst you're out of the house. Where this gets very clever is that you can also dispense treats to them. You simply load the dispenser with tasty treats and then you can use the app to fire them out to your fairy friends. Oh, yes! <laughs> you can even set timers to do it automatically for you. And it's not long before they all come sniffing. So if you wanted to maybe give them a bit of entertainment halfway through the night, then off you go. The Pet Cube's camera records in 1080p it has a 160 degree ultra wide view, night vision, and four time zoom. The app also gives you real time notifications on your pet's activities, too. You can also talk to them and you can hear them meowing back. And if they're looking particularly cute, take a photo and then post that on your timeline. I thought Dodgy's pet dispenser was really cool. If we put one here today, I do think they would get knocked over as they would want the treats. They're very smart. They would work out where the treats are coming from. Holly's not wrong. Cats are indeed smart. Research suggests cats have a brain structure that's similar to other intelligent animals, including humans. So they need constant stimulation to stop them getting bored. I'm interested to see what they think of this. It's the Petronix Mauser. It's an interactive, robotically controlled mouse. It's uh, made out of tough plastic materials, developed by some cat-loving computer students who um, wanted to design a toy that would sort of encourage cats to behave like they naturally want to do, you know, sort of stalk and pounce and hunt and all that sort of, that sort of stuff. I'll admit, it's a bit pricey for a cat toy, but I think it's worth it. It connects to your phone via Bluetooth, and using the app, you can control it from your smart device. <laughs> it uses built-in sensors that know when your cat's nearby, and it'll start to play. Mouser can also tell when it's been caught. It works both upside down and right way up. It's been designed to cope with all cat eventualities. 
Mouser has three automatic play modes, or you can customise one for your cat's own individual personality. You can also set it into an all-day mode so that um, you can leave your cat with it and it'll just eke out its 40 minutes of battery life by operating occasionally. I think they like it. I think they like the, the fluffy feather. So can you have, get different tails, different yes, types? Yes, absolutely. That's a more springy one. You can get... Uh, here's something sort of more like a thing to follow around. You can sit that on the back. John's robot toy was absolutely amazing. And it was actually quite fun to drive. It's fun for the humans too. <gasps> oh, it flips. Oh, they like that. <laughs> oh, they do actually. <laughs> God loves that. Wow, brilliant. <laughs> Do you want to get a car? I, I'm very tempted. I'm not, not sure I can really look after it properly. And also, Mrs. Bent is allergic to cats. No, anti streams. Yes, <laughs> it means a lot, actually. <laughs> the cats seem to be taken with my robot mouse. But now it's time for Holly to pause and reflect and decide on a winner. Electronic age to stimulate cats. It's an innuendo minefield, everybody. Oh, that is. <laughs> can I just go down the line, though? How much did yours cost? 135 quid. And yours? 190. Ow, and yours? 249. That is far too much money to be spent on a cat. That's more money than I spent on both my cats. What's wrong with a piece of string? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's see what Holly decided was the winner. And the winner is... John's robotic mouse. Cos the cats loved it and I loved it too. Hey, congratulations, <laughs> John! Well, thank you for your congratulations and felicitations. However, I do have a small confession to make. OK, what is it? That since we filmed that back in December, they've withdrawn the Mauser from the market. <gasps> Recount! <laughs> Disqualifying! Ah, <laughs> uh, no, because I found uh, this, which is the Sloten RC cat toy. It's cheaper than the Mauser. It's got really trick wheels. They rotate by 360 degrees, so it'll never get stuck. I reckon Holly would have chosen that. So I think my victory still stands. So how much did that cost? £33.99. You see, that is more like it. No wonder <laughs> Mauser went out of business. <laughs> <laughs>